everybody, this is the world E to Z. We're going to be doing our last video of the night right here, and all we're going to be doing is putting a face mesh, uh, the one that they provide you, onto the face tracker. Super simple, this is going to be the easiest thing that we're going to do, and the simplest effect that you'll really uh, do in Spark AR. So we'll do create a project. We have our guy right there, great. So we're going to right click, add face tracker right click add face mesh I'm gonna make sure that face mesh is a child of this parent so when I click the parent the child goes away also I don't have any assets I'm gonna add an asset my asset and you see this cool checkered guy over here uh, face mesh I'm gonna see this asset I'm gonna get it from my computer what is my asset my asset is my face mesh <clears throat> we're just gonna use the plain guy and put it over his face so I'm gonna import from computer I already have it I put it onto my desktop and then right here so I'm going to textures and I have the masculine face I'm gonna click open now it's still not attached or anything so I go to my face tracker and my face mesh over here and I see material so I'm gonna do plus material and it just creates a material here and either right here or right here I can rename so I'm just gonna double click and I'm gonna do um, mask face for masculine face and I know what that is so I'm going to click on this and texture what is the texture it will be the face masculine that's my texture so instead of standard I'm gonna do face paint face paints which use for most things so you can see through this is background influence so do I want the background influence I'm gonna make this a bit bigger and I'm gonna put this on this guy so you can see it a little bit uh, the difference a little bit more so background influence meaning like the hair the hair it will look like it's underneath the hair with the background influence all the way turned up it's the influence it has on the things that are really around it so I usually turn that up all the way because we have this girl over here and she has the bangs and when you do that, it really gets rid of the bangs, and that helps a lot. And you really don't know the hairstyles of the people that you're going to be, that who are going to be using your uh, tracker. Here's the opacity. These are for different things. You can work with a lot of the uh, different shine effects and opacities for certain things. Here, obviously. And brightness. How bright is it? Is it a very, you know, uh, for the white ones, I like it to be really white. For the darker ones you know it just it, it 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 is different with every color and every single saturation of color so play with the brightness but always i really always keep these two high but those are really the only ones that i focused on so you can move it up and down and that's really easy now we'll do one that i'll show you one that i've done so i'll do add an asset and with her i'm going to do the caro woman oops i don't want to do that yeah i want to delete it i'm going to right click uh replace because i want to replace it i'm going to come in a desktop my face assets made female and uh actually let's do beyonce face paint so i'm going to this is my png that i had made i'm going to replace it yeah so i'm going to go to my texture and i can see my texture is the same thing face mask but it's just the names change. We're gonna do Beyonce paint because that's what I change it to. So I'm gonna go over here to the face mask and I'm gonna make sure, see how I go down the brightness is like higher? It's weird. I don't understand. <laughs> so like, uh, and then all the way down it's grayer. So it has to be like somewhere in the middle here. Uh, but yeah, that is it. And if you're doing multiple masks, multiple faces, let's do, uh, we'll call this now, now that we're, um, doing a different kind. It's the white Beyonce Beyonce paint. Let's say we have different colors and we would just do command D and I would do red. And hypothetically you'd have um, Beyonce, I'll do white because I want everything to match because it gets, a, you'll really need to like link things together as you get uh, as you move on to deeper 
um, work that you're doing here. And ideally, we'd have one called uh, red Beyonce face paint, blue Beyonce face paint, purple Beyonce, Beyonce face paint. And every face mask should be named, um, I'll, like, I'll do white uh, mesh. And I'll know that, know that it's the white one that I'm working with. And the red one will be, uh, I can't like duplicate here. So I always have to go add face mesh, put it under the face tracking parent, double click red mesh and name it as that. So, uh, yeah, that's how you do that. I'm just going to delete because it's nothing right now. And that's pretty easy. I hope that you guys enjoy. That's how you put on a simple material and tracker face mesh. Super easy. And it's not even six minutes. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed. This has been the world E to Z. I hope I made it easy for you. Spark AR. Have a good night.